we're glad you're with us. Welcome to Disabilities Redefined with Dr. Wagner. On this episode, you're going to meet film director Matt Ogans. Matt's documentary Audible, a coming-of-age story for deaf high school football players, was a critic's favorite and earned Matt his first Academy Award nomination for Best Documentary Short Subject. This is a great interview. Enjoy. You know, it took me a very long time to, to get this made, to get this financed so I could go off and shoot it. And so I knew I wanted to follow a senior because I wanted to tell that coming of age story of a senior, uh, particularly in this case, someone that's deaf, graduating not just from school, but in a way, metaphorically graduating into a larger world that that's, has a lot of hearing people in it too and acclimating to that. Um, and so that meant every year I didn't get the film made, I'd kind of have to recast because that person will have graduated. And when I met Amari, something stuck with me about him because, you know, he had, because of everything, you know, his relationship with his family, his relationship on again, off again with his father, his friendship with Jalen, a gay male cheerleader, um, and, and the impetus of this impetus of that being Teddy's suicide to me had all the conflicts and tension and emotion of good storytelling. Do you think authentic is a way to describe uh, more of a documentary portrayal or a fictitious character? Yeah, that's a larger philosophical question. I think it applies to both. I mean, um, you know, it, that's that's a that's a tough question to answer. It's case by case, but I think it of course applies to both. I think any writer, director, or actor in a, in the narrative world still wants an authentic performance, um, an authentic portrayal of a character. Um, it's a little. I don't. I don't have to work with actors trying to be authentic in a doc because they already are, but I yes. still have to create a safe environment where they can be vulnerable, authentic. But I don't like to compare like documentary versus narrative in terms of authenticity because it's all great storytelling. Right. After spending all this time with these teens, do you consider the death culture to be a, a and actually a culture of its own? I do. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I do because they do. Right. And who are, who am I to say it is or it isn't? But absolutely I do. My best friend since I was seven years old is deaf and I spent 12 years trying to get this film made. And one thing I can only speak to the people in, in Audible is that they very much feel part of a culture and a community. And sign language is a language. It's an official language. So mm -hmm. um, absolutely I feel it's a culture. Yes. One of my favorite lines in the movie is actually by someone who only really speaks this line. In, in the entire movie, and it is the coach of the opposing team. And he actually says that uh, whenever he's talking to the opposing team, uh, he actually says, it is a football game. You guys are playing football. Uh, they are guys playing football. They're football players. They are here to win today. You're going to have to forget their death. They will use that as a strength. That was such a powerful line for me because it in some ways normalizes everyone's identity to yeah. be football players, sure. but it also gives respect, as we just stated, to the death culture. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I, 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 I don't even know if that's even a question, Matt. <laughs> I, didn't, I don't think it's a question, but, it's a, but, you, but I like what you're saying. Yeah. I, 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 I just wanted to share that with you. But No, I think that's great. I love that yeah. you picked that line out, that that stood out to you. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. I, I do want to close, though, with saying that I did appreciate when I was doing my homework on you, your best friend was death. I, as I said, whenever I first reached out to you, uh, my, one of my favorite people on planet Earth was actually blind. And I, uh, growing up as a, as a kid and as a teenager who I lost, I, 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 I explained this to you in our first message, yeah. uh, that um, she, she passed away in her late teens. But I do understand, and I, I just wanted to get your feedback. Final question, because uh, again, I don't know if you've ever experienced this or not. I, I'm kind of personalizing this, bringing it, me into it now, which is not okay. a good thing to, not a good thing to do in an interview. Everything's but, personal uh, now. It's I'm going to totally do it, but cool. you know, did you get any slack at all by not being disabled or deaf? No. And putting this, yeah, okay, I, that's good to hear. That and is here's why. Good. My best friend's deaf. 
My aunt is a sign language interpreter. I grew up 30 mi minutes away from the school. And it took me 12, I, I pursued this for 12 years, going back to the school and showing up where they really invited me in. Not to get controversial, but that school's been there for 154 years, open to anyone to approach them to tell a story. So it's not like someone gave me this job. This is something that I took 12 years to try to make and prove myself. Um, and I didn't get in anyone's way. The point being that there shouldn't only be one deaf story. There should be millions of deaf stories, just like hearing stories. In fact, let's not call them deaf stories. Why yes. don't we just call them stories? Yes. Just, we don't call things hearing stories. You know what I mean? Yes. But look, I, you know, I don't want to get in trouble here, but to me, my job is to tell stories. Um, and it doesn't mean for me telling stories about people that look like me. Great. Thank you, Matt. This has been Thank a great you. pleasure. Thanks for having me. No, no, no. Thank you. And uh, uh, I, I told so many people today uh, th that I knew that I was going to interview you. Everybody was starstruck. Uh, oh, even <laughs> I appreciate you having me. I even, I even went down the subway shaking hands. I'm going to meet Matt Ogan this afternoon. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I got a great seat for once in New York City on the subway when they found that out. So oh, anyway, that's great. all the best and congratulations. And I will Thanks for having I will me. It really means a lot. And I definitely will follow your career as you move forward and look oh, forward to what you thank do. Thank you. We'll do it again on the next film. Yes. Thank you so much, buddy. All the best. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Take care. Bye.